Okay, Jordan Peterson, rule number two. Treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Now, I got to be honest with you. Rule number two of Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. I was a little disappointed with the actual... I was a little disappointed with that actual section. When I saw the title and the concept, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping, I thought, wow, that's groundbreaking. There's going to be some really useful nuggets of information in that because that is something that actually everybody needs. But truthfully, he doesn't really elaborate on the concept all that much in the chapter. And I was disappointed in that fact. So, little side note. Where's my wife tonight? Well, it's 9.30 on a Saturday night. And believe it or not, I kid you not, my wife left the house at 4.30 to go help her friend pack up and move. Yeah, Saturday night. My wife stay off. That is what she's doing. She's spent the last four hours moving boxes for her friend into a U-Haul into a so that her friend can move into a new apartment because a friend asked her to. That's the type of character my wife has developed over the years. Now, she didn't start out that way. She had traces of that type of character, but she had a lot of issues in the early years of our marriage, and she, could, she was sometimes very... We had a very difficult time of things in the first five or six years we were married. But over the years, she's developed that type of godly, consistent character where she is actually self-sacrificing, the type of person who actually spends her Saturday night helping her friend. Maybe even against her better judgment because she actually needed to rest, you know, it was a day off. But I didn't fight with her. Uh, she's actually so, oftentimes very, very self-sacrificing with her friends. Takes a lot of good care of the people in her life that she loves and, you know, I respect her for it. Um, matter of fact, if you ask most of my wife's friends who the best person is they know, they would probably say my wife. Because over the years, she has developed that kind of self-sacrificing, consistent, godly character. Now, no, not all the time, like I said, but she has been developing it for years. So, where am I going with this little piece of information? Well, the title of the, of the, of the rule number two, the premise is, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. And I was really hoping for some valuable insight. Because my wife is not unusual. She's, she's unusual in that she does a lot for other people. But she's not unusual in that she has trouble applying the same skills. The same passionate commitment to helping other people to helping herself. I've seen this in her own life. Kills me on some level. Because she's better to other people than she oftentimes is to herself. And I've noticed that from day one. So I was hoping to gather some real information, some real wisdom from Jordan Peterson. He doesn't really go into the concept in any sort of meaningful or useful way. He doesn't really provide any insight. So I'm just going to try to provide my own from my own experience in my own life. It's a skill that a lot of people do not have. And my first instinct as to why is oftentimes we haven't been raised that way. Remember the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. If you're going to be of value to other people, it's important that you treat yourself with the same amount of love, kindness, and respect. And that's one of the things I've noticed in my wife. She's oftentimes a lot better to other people than she is to herself. And that's a dilemma in our society today. It's not an unusual thing. Now, we got twofold problem here. Because once I start talking like that, there's a whole bunch of people who respond immediately to and go, yeah, that's me, that's me. Because we also have a lot of narcissists in our culture today. People who immediately hear, yeah, you got to be nicer to yourself and you got to love yourself. And they go, amen, I'm totally on board with that. <laughs> because that's all they're really thinking about and that's all they really care about. That's milk to their ears. That's music to their ears. That's all they care about. Far more people like that on Twitter who immediately hear, yes, I've, I've got to think of real ways to be nicer and better to myself and take more care of myself and be more loving to myself. But in point of fact, there are people like my wife who, because they are self-sacrificing, because they are loyal to others, because there's something in them that wants to give so much, they actually have trouble applying the same knowledge to themselves. And I don't actually know why.
So I was hoping Jordan Peterson was going to give me some real insight into human nature on that one. Some real, because it's, it's a mystery to me. It seems like the better people, the people who have real character, the people who actually care. The reason why my wife can be so good is because she actually loves her friends. And she's actually bone loyal and takes care of them. And most of them, most of the people who she takes care of, she's the only friend who takes care of them. She's one friend who she's, you know, the only reason the guy has visiting rights with his child is my wife has taken him to the court, helped him fill out the paperwork, taken him, drove him to AA meetings. Yeah, she can be like that. I just wish I could figure out a way to get her to apply the same type of loving, passionate, tender care to herself consistently. And I find with the better people in the world... The self-sacrificing people, the loyal people, the people who are willing to fight for others. They have a lot of trouble applying that to themselves. They love their neighbor, sure. They love their neighbor in ways that's self-sacrificing, but they have trouble loving themselves. It's like they don't feel good enough or they don't feel worthy enough. And again, I'm loath to even talk like this because there's a whole bunch of other people who immediately hear that and go, yeah, that's me. And it ain't them. <laughs> no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Just to clue you in, it's probably not. If you, if you respond to that like, oh yeah, that's definitely me, look and do the inventory on your own life. Are you helping a lot of people in your life? Are you a loyal friend? Are you taking care of other people? Then it may be you. But oftentimes the people who immediately hear, yeah, I got to take better care of myself are actually the selfish people. The people who don't need to take care of themselves. The people who need to learn the exact opposite lesson. They need to learn how to reach out to others and Start putting them, putting... The Bible does tell you to put others more important to, to, than yourself. To make other people more important than yourself. Now that's a really, really, really weird way to approach reality in our present day culture because it's the exact opposite of everything we are trained from practically day one to, to try and think of. We are trained in this culture to put ourselves first, to be self-aggrandizing, to be somewhat egomaniacal. And we are trained that that's the pathway to success in this culture. Need I point out the President of the United States? Did I, have, did I even say the word? I'm not, I'm not talking about his politics. Policies one way or the other. Don't have any big complaints about that necessarily. I'm just saying. I'm just saying he's a certain type of personality in this culture that seems to rise to the top and get all the attention. And we, see, we, tend, to, we, tend, to, uh, we tend to reward the exact opposite type of behavior as what the Bible tells you to be. Self-sacrificing, humble patient, kind, long-suffering, decent. And I find that the people who actually work hard at being humble, patient, kind, long-suffering, decent have real trouble applying the same lessons to themselves. And it wasn't really satisfying to me when I read the chapter on Jordan Peterson because I really, really wanted insight into that. I really wanted to try and figure out why. It's really honest to God that people with the good character the really, really, truly decent people out there who have a lot of trouble putting themselves, giving themselves enough of the love and attention that they give to other people and putting themselves in a position where they take care of themselves. Those people have seemed to have internalized a totally different set of messages from their environment. And yes, it's more biblical. They've learned to be good, do good, help others, put others first. Put others above themselves. Be self-sacrificing in the service of other human beings. And that is, in the final analysis, that is a much better, more satisfying way to live. And that is much better character than, the, than its opposite, self-aggrandizement and narcissism. But, herein lies the rub. It would be absolutely wonderful and be a much better world if those same self-sacrificing human beings who learn to put others ahead of themselves learn to apply some of that patient, kind, long-suffering tenderness to themselves so that they can love themselves with the same sort of commitment and the same sort of patience and the same sort of kindness and tenderness that they apply to other people. It would really, really, really be better if they could do that. And I was really hoping to gain some insight on Jordan Peterson as to how or why. How or why they could do that. So I could try to apply it in my own life. But that one particular chapter of the book doesn't really have a lot to say on the subject that he laid out. Doesn't really have a lot of information to give me. So there you go. Rule number two. 
It's a great rule. It's a great rule. And I wish I could teach it to some of the people who are nearest and dearest to my heart. But I'm not actually sure what the missing ingredient is, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not actually sure why some of the best people I know have so much trouble internalizing, internalizing the love that they give easily to other people so that they can give it to themselves. I wish, I wish that particular chapter had been more insightful. Oh well. Amen.